Test 4. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Number 1. Look at the picture marked number 1 in your test book. A. He is fishing on a dock. B. He is running along a shore. C. He is getting into a boat. D. He is reading a book. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your test book. A. A man is opening a toolbox. B. A man is repairing a car. C. A man is replacing a tire. D. A man is cleaning a car. Go on to the next page. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your test book. A. The man is putting a plate on a table. B. The man is handing a menu to a woman. C. The woman is drinking juice from a bottle. D. The woman is paying for a purchase at a cash register. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your test book. A. They are resting on the floor. B. Books are on display in a library. C. The woman is leaning against a column. D. The man is reaching for a book on a shelf. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. Some tools have been scattered on the ground. B. Some trees are being planted. C. Some fruit has been stacked in crates. D. A cart is being unloaded in a garden. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. A road has been closed for a parade. B. Some passengers are getting off a boat. C. Some bicycles have been parked along a railing. D. Some cyclists are riding on a bridge. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. What equipment will you need? A. A projector and a microphone. B. The main auditorium. C. I attended the presentation too. Number 8. When did our company start reimbursing training expenses? A. Yes, highly educational. B. Since the merger last year. C. I'm taking night classes after work. Number 9. Why did you mark this email as urgent? A. Yes, it was very quick. B. In your inbox. C. 
because the deadline is tomorrow. Number 10. I can still use this bus pass, can't I? A. Number 17 goes there. B. All day passes are $12. C. No, it's only valid for one day. Number 11. Are you having trouble connecting to the internet? A. OK, here's the address. B. His business has a large connection. C. No, it's working fine for me. Number 12. How many tables do we need to set for the reception? A. The original receipts. B. I'll do it right now. C. A total of 20. Number 13. Where do you want me to leave these toner boxes? A. On page 12. B. Next to the printer would be best. C. I think this tone seems fine. Number 14. Doesn't this subway line have an express train? A. Yes, it's coming next. B. A way to avoid traffic. C. Please check your destination before boarding. Number 15. Who is picking up the clients from the airport? A. Flight 442 from Chicago. B. Yes, in the downtown area. C. Amber volunteered for that. Number 16. Where should we go for our company retreat? A. We're running low on funds. B. Do you live on River Street? C. I applied for the supervisor opening. Number 17. Toby's visiting the branch office now, right? A. The grand opening. B. Yes, he'll be back by 3 o'clock. C. I'll be with you in a minute. Number 18. Who's in charge of planning the client dinner? A. I thought you were. B. It's free of charge. C. How about this cafe? Number 19. When should we send out this customer survey? A. A significant decrease in sales. B. As soon as it's been checked for mistakes. C. It received bad reviews. Number 20. Is digital format all right, or would you prefer to have it printed? A. It has to be signed by hand. B. Please indicate your meal preference on the form. C. There's more paper in the supply closet. Number 21. Does your restaurant deliver? A. The taco lunch special, please. B. Only for orders of $20 or more. C. We are open 24 hours a day. Number 22. Which form should I fill out to renew my driver's license? A. Some great deals on used cars. B. Turn left at the intersection. C. This one here. Number 23. Could you help me exchange this toaster for a new one? A. Yes, our stock values have risen surprisingly quickly. B. The customer service desk is next to the entrance. C. Sure, I would love some toast. Number 24. 
Who's representing our company at the upcoming expo? A. Tickets to the event are still available. B. Probably someone from the development team. C. At the convention center downtown. Number 25. Are you leading the orientation for the new transfer students? A. The student center. B. Didn't you see the updated schedule? C. She transferred to our head office. Number 26. Why don't you look for a flight and hotel package deal? A. Gary already made the reservations. B. I would like to send this package by express mail. C. A window seat, please. Number 27. Could you cover my afternoon shift this Saturday? A. I have plans to leave town for the weekend. B. Let's start at noon. C. Just pull this lever to shift it. Number 28. You're driving to the seminar tomorrow, right? A. About marketing. B. A company-wide event. C. My car is still in the shop. Number 29. I would like to hold a department meeting on Friday. A. That's a national holiday. B. Thanks for meeting with me. C. You can find one at any department store. Number 30. I think those pants look really good on you. A. They're not very comfortable, though. B. The fitting room is in the back. C. No, I already have been there. Number 31. Haven't you read this quarter's sales report? A. Up to 40%. B. I report directly to the marketing director. C. I just got back from the client meeting. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Mr. Langley, you said that you felt cold air coming from somewhere, and I found the source of the problem. There's a big crack in the hallway window. I'm glad you figured it out. I recommend replacing the glass right away so that it does not crack further. Okay. How much would you charge for that? This is a standard size, so it would be $85 total. I'll call the warehouse now to make sure they have what I need. Number 32. What problem does the woman mention? Number 33. What does the man inquire about? Number 34. What will the woman do next? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hi, this is Jim from the IT team. I got your message that you were having a problem. That's right. I'm trying to access the database, but I keep getting a message saying that my password is invalid. I'm sure I'm typing it in correctly. Well, we carried out some updates this morning, which might be the reason you're having trouble. So what should I do? Just restart your computer. That should fix the issue completely. OK, thanks. I hope it works because I'm presenting a talk on our project tomorrow and I need some figures from the database.
Number 35. What problem does the woman mention? Number 36. According to the man, how can the woman resolve a problem? Number 37. What does the woman plan to do tomorrow? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Thanks for meeting us on such short notice. Angela and I think this neighborhood is perfect for our bakery, so we need to find the right property. I'm happy to help. Now, I've printed out the details of a site on Henning Street. You can see the layout here. Hmm, having just a front entrance might be a problem. Angela, what do you think? Right. Our bakery will start offering a delivery service in June, so we'll need a rear entrance for that. I understand. There's another option, but it's more expensive. It's just down the street, so I could show you around the site now if you'd like. Number 38. Why do the women need the man's help? Number 39. According to Angela, what will happen in June? Number 40. What does the man offer to do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Thank you for calling the Detroit Finance Academy. How may I direct your call? Hello, I'd like to register for one of your classes. Do I need any experience as a professional financial planner to sign up for them? Only for our corporate level classes. Anyone can sign up for the beginner classes. The basic one is three months long, and upon completion of it, you will receive a certificate from our academy. Really? That sounds like a good way to improve my resume. How can I register for a class? If you give me your email address and phone number, We can send you all the information you need to apply. Number 41. What does the woman want to learn? Number 42. What does the man say is offered after a class? Number 43. What will the woman most likely do next? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hi, sorry I'm late for this teleconference. I forgot that our parking lot is being renovated and I had to park far away from our building. That's all right. Tyrone and I were just talking about the next shipment from our parts supplier in Thailand. We should expect a delay. I spoke with the supplier here and they plan on closing their plant for three days next week. A very strong typhoon is expected to hit the area and they don't want their people working in dangerous conditions. I understand completely. In that case, Let's take a look at our production schedule and update it accordingly. Number 44. Why was the woman late to the teleconference? Number 45. Why will a shipment be delayed? Number 46. What will the speakers do next? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. You're listening to Trade Talk. My guest today is Lucas Simmons. He's the founder and CEO of Marquez Technology, which has launched several smartphone apps. Welcome, Lucas. Thanks for inviting me on the show. 
I appreciate your taking the time to be here, as I know you've had a hectic schedule this month. You've been touring the country to promote your latest app, right? That's right. It helps consumers to easily compare grocery store prices. Well, your level of success in the field is absolutely amazing. Thanks, but I have a number of talented employees. That makes a big difference. Number 47. What most likely is the woman's occupation? Number 48. Why has the man been busy this month? Number 49. Why does the man say, I have a number of talented employees? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. All of the employees have been informed that safety inspectors from the local government office will be visiting our factory tomorrow. That's great. I also received an email from Mr. Johnson, the team leader of that group. He's bringing along a new worker who will just observe the process. That shouldn't make any difference on our end. The only thing left to do is to make sure that all employees have their safety gear. We should pass it out this afternoon. Good idea. I'll find out who has any lost or worn gear so we can get the right replacements to them before tomorrow. Number 50. Who will visit the speaker's company tomorrow? Number 51. What did the woman learn about Mr. Johnson? Number 52. What do the speakers agree to do this afternoon? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hello, and thank you for volunteering for the cleanup project here at Webster Park. It's my pleasure. Since I live in the neighborhood, I'm a frequent visitor here. I'm glad to hear that. Now, it looks like we've got a nice sunny day for the work. Yes, but、um, I wish I would have brought some sunscreen. I have a bottle in my backpack. You're welcome to use it. Thanks a lot. But before we get started, I'd like you to meet the other volunteers on your team. Just follow me. Number 53. Where are the speakers? Number 54. What does the man need? Number 55. What will the woman probably do next? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for helping me review the employee manuals. I didn't know it would be such a big job. We've been working on this all day. Well, we have just a few pages left. You're right. I'm glad we'll be able to finish it before we leave. Oh, I forgot to ask you if you're busy after work. I'm going to the Riverside Cafe to see David's band play. You're welcome to join me. I'd love to hear David's music, but tonight's no good for me. I promised I'd pick up a friend at the airport and drive him home. I'm sure you'll have another chance to see the group. Number 56. Why does the man say, We have just a few pages left? Number 57. What will the woman do after work? Number 58. Why is the man unable to join the woman? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation Welcome to Midtown Dry Cleaning. Are you here to pick up an item? 
Yes, I dropped off a business suit the other day. It's supposed to be ready for pickup today, but I didn't receive a call. Okay, do you have the receipt from when you dropped it off? Yes, here it is. Wait just a moment. Sorry we didn't call. Our automated calling system isn't working right. That's fine. I'm just glad it's ready on time. I have a big job interview tomorrow. Number 59. What is the purpose of the woman's visit? Number 60. What does the man ask for? Number 61. What is the woman going to do tomorrow? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and hotel information. Hi, Kevin. I'm glad the budget was approved for us to travel to Tokyo to visit the fashion designers working on our spring collection. Right. I think we'll get to see some of their preliminary fabrics and drawings in advance. I'm excited about that. Oh, and we still need to book our hotel. There are four in the neighborhood that we want. One has a restaurant on site. Hmm. Will it let us check into our rooms early? I don't think so. However, there's another one that has an early check in option. Let's go with that one. And I see that they have a discount promotion that ends today, so we'd better hurry. Number 62. Who will the speakers visit in Tokyo? Number 63. Look at the graphic. Where will the speakers most likely stay in Tokyo? Number 64. Why does the woman want to finalize a plan quickly? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and instruction manual. Hi, I'm Terence from Maintenance. I heard you were having trouble with the air filter in your office. Oh, thanks for coming. I tried to set it up according to this manual, but I must have done something wrong. It's making strange noises. Let's see. Look at this. You plugged the filter in the wrong way. Okay, now it seems to be working fine. Thanks for your help. By the way, I can't get that file cabinet in the corner to lock. We keep some confidential documents in there, so it's important to have a working lock. I'll have to order a part for that, which will take a few days at least. I'll come back sometime early next week to take care of that for you. Number 65. Who most likely is the man? Number 66. Look at the graphic. At which step did the woman make a mistake? Number 67. What will the man do next week? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and itinerary. Do you have a moment, Sam? Of course. I just got off the phone with Sheila from Irvine Enterprises, the contact person for their staff trip. She's requested an itinerary change. Hmm. That tour is only two weeks away, but I'll make some adjustments if possible. What does she want to do? Well, she'd like to have the group watch a traditional dance performance. Okay. I think those shows run every Tuesday and Thursday. We could cancel the plans for the beach hike. There will already be a lot of walking on the previous day. That'll be perfect. The farmer's market is a popular site, so we definitely want to keep that on the schedule. Number 68. Why will the speakers make a change?
Number 69. What kind of activity will be added to the itinerary? Number 70. Look at the graphic. When will tour participants do the new activity? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following broadcast. Welcome back to Living Right, the number one talk show about healthy lifestyles. Our guest speaker today is the celebrity chef and dietitian Emily Parker. As many of you probably know, she travels the world to sample the local cuisine of different regions. In her podcasts, she talks about the nutritional values of different dishes. You can download her mobile app, which was just released, to keep track of your own eating habits. Number 71. What is the broadcast mainly about? Number 72. According to the speaker, why does Miss Parker travel? Number 73. What has just become available? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Ms. Varner. This is Albert Beck, the HR Director at Trio Advertising. I've received your application for our open graphic designer position. I've read the recommendation letter written by your current boss. I was really pleased with what he said. If possible, I'd like to interview you at our office next Monday or Tuesday. Please call me back to let me know a time that works for you. My number is 555-4617. I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks. Number 74. Who most likely is the speaker calling? Number 75. What was the speaker pleased with? Number 76. What is the listener asked to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following tour information. The next stop on this tour of the Rallywood Film Museum is devoted to Quinn Carney. You probably already know that some of the most famous movies he directed include Living Planet and Sky Pirates. He was more than that, though. Few people know that he enjoyed painting as well. In fact, in every one of his films, you can spot a painting that he made himself in the background at some point. Our museum just recently obtained some of those paintings, and next month, this exhibit will be expanded to include them. In fact, if you come back after the expansion with your ticket stub from this month, you can get 50% off a ticket to see the new area. Number 77. Who is Quinn Carney? Number 78. Why does the speaker say, He was more than that, though? Number 79. What will happen next month? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, Celeste. It's Marco. I wanted to give you an update on the retirement party for Mr. Barclay this Friday. I'm afraid we have a small problem. The band that was supposed to play has just said they can't make it. Fortunately, Albert gave me a few suggestions for replacements, so I'll be calling around today. 
Also, you said that you wanted to review the order of the program together. I'm away from the office now, but I'll be back by three at the latest. Number 80. What kind of event is scheduled for Friday? Number 81. According to the speaker, what has caused a problem? Number 82. Why does the speaker say, I'll be back by three at the latest? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following introduction. As the owner of Pacheco Industries, it is my honor to present the Employee of the Year Award to Mr. Kevin Spencer, one of the team leaders in our marketing division. Mr. Spencer received praise for his leadership skills from everyone who has worked under him. He is a highly motivated employee who, just last quarter, completed his master's degree in global marketing. What some of you might not know about Mr. Spencer is that his original background was in shipping and transporting goods. This goes to show what a quick learner and versatile worker he is. Let's give him a round of applause. Number 83. Who is the speaker? Number 84. What did Mr. Spencer do last quarter? Number 85. According to the speaker, what was Mr. Spencer's original area of expertise? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement Welcome to Woodwards. Our products and services have been ranked first in customer satisfaction for three years in a row. Visit the computer section to see our latest release. If you have had trouble with fragile laptops and tablet devices, then Turtle Tablet is the device for you. Turtle Tablet is so sturdy that it can withstand being dropped from a third floor window without a scratch. Please visit the display to see the demonstration video clip playing on repeat. Number 86. Where is the announcement being made? Number 87. According to the speaker, what is a special feature of a product? Number 88. What does the speaker recommend that the listeners do? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following recorded message. Thank you for calling Skipper's Sandwiches. Our restaurant hours are 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. If you would like to give feedback on our food or service, please do so by posting on our website in the comments section. If you visit there, you will note that we are famous for our charity events that support local school programs. This month, we are offering a special dish called the Hungry Learner Pack. All profits made from it will be donated to our local non profit organizations. Number 89. How should the listeners provide feedback? Number 90. What is Skipper's Sandwiches famous for? Number 91. What is being offered this month? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. As you are new volunteers, I'd like to personally thank you for your contribution to the museum. I've been in charge of this facility for nearly 20 years, and it can only survive thanks for your generosity. We've always offered free admission so that everyone in the community can enjoy beautiful artwork. 
We're the only sight of our kind in the region, and even on weekdays, you can see large crowds. You'll be assigned to different teams for leading tours, providing information, monitoring the pieces, and more. To cut down on administration work, don't forget to track the number of hours you work each month and submit that information to my assistant. Number 92. Who most likely is making the announcement? Number 93. Why does the speaker say? You can see large crowds. Number 94. What are the listeners reminded to do? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following announcement and sign. May I have your attention, please? Shoppers at Green Life Supermarket are encouraged to finish their shopping quickly as we will close in just 20 minutes. However, that still gives you enough time to stop by the help desk to register for our store newsletter. It is sent out weekly and gives readers advance notice of sales and special events. Speaking of events, don't forget that we're offering free samples near the entrance all week. If you're interested in trying a sweet treat for free, you've come on the right day. Number 95. According to the speaker, why should listeners hurry? Number 96. What are listeners invited to do at the help desk? Number 97. Look at the graphic. On which day is the speaker making the announcement? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following broadcast and map. You're watching Channel 3 News. I'm Brian Myers, reporting live from the Albany Bus Depot. Today marks the first day of construction on the new terminal, which will be completed by the end of next year. With this new terminal, city officials are expecting more tour companies to move to the area and operate here. The new terminal will be located off Lillian Avenue next to Hickory Concert Hall. It will feature comfortable waiting rooms and a modern appearance. It will also be the only terminal with free Wi Fi, an amenity that travelers are looking forward to using. For more information, including viewing photos of the progress, visit www.albanybus.net. Number 98. What benefit of the project is mentioned? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which terminal will be added to the site? Number 100. According to the speaker, what feature of the terminal are travelers excited about? <laughs> 